Next to breaking developments tonight involving the Trump White House. A short time ago, we learned Rudy Giuliani has taken himself out of consideration for Secretary of State and Giuliani himself tonight explaining why. Also this evening, the Trump team responding to word the president-elect will continue in his producing role on the reality show Celebrity Apprentice, offering their reason why. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas. Tonight, a bombshell from Team Trump. Rudy Giuliani removing himself from consideration for a position in the Trump administration. I saw that he had so many good candidates available. I mean, there was no reason to complicate his life any longer. At one point, Giuliani was on the short list for Secretary of State, even campaigning for the position. But as Trump's list of potential candidates expands with Mitt Romney and that publicized dinner, and now ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson in the mix, Giuliani's stock dropped. And tonight, Giuliani saying Romney disqualified himself when he attacked Trump in the primaries. My advice would be Mitt went just a little too far uh, to... You can, you, you can make friends and make up, but I, don't, I would not see him as a candidate for the cabinet. In a statement, the president-elect saying of Giuliani, he is and continues to be a close personal friend. Trump's transition drama comes as he continues his tough talk to American companies shipping jobs overseas. We don't want companies to leave our country, go to another country. I mean, Carrie is a great example. And Carrier, we did a great job with Carrier. The president-elect also getting in a very public fight with Carrier's union leader, Chuck Jones. Tonight, major unions coming to Jones's defense. Jones called out Trump for exaggerating the amount of Carrier jobs he helped from going to Mexico. Trump tweeted, Chuck Jones has done a terrible job representing workers. No wonder companies flee. Jones thanking Trump for keeping some jobs but cautioning him not to spread false hope. How many times can you take credit for the same job staying here in the city? Trump also dealing with new questions about his continued role as an executive producer of Celebrity Apprentice. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Today, Trump's team defending the decision to work in show business while handling the nation's business. I mean, presidents have a right to do things uh, in their in their spare time or the leisure time. This as Trump continues his apprentice-like auditions for his cabinet, filling it with millionaires and billionaires. Why can't they have people of modest means? Because I want people that made a fortune. Trump's most recent millionaire to join the team, fast food executive Andy Puzder. The transition team calls him a proven job creator. Puzder, a vocal opponent of substantially raising the minimum wage, has talked up replacing human workers with robots. Puzder quoted as saying, they're always polite, they always upsell, they never take a vacation. Today in Baton Rouge, Trump already looking forward to the next election. That's right, I don't need your vote. Can you imagine that? Four years I'll need your vote. And Tom Yamas joined us live from Trump Tower. And even as President-elect Donald Trump has warned of a 35% tariff, for companies that move jobs abroad. A major company tonight saying they will move forward with their plans to move manufacturing, Tom? David Ford tells ABC News tonight they are moving a production line from Michigan to Mexico, but there will be no net job loss. Trump has threatened American companies that build plants overseas and sell products back to Americans with a 35% tariff. David? Tom Yamas, our thanks to you tonight.